What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play here on the Xbox One. So guys, in between episodes we had a new subscriber. Uh, I don't know your name though, uh, because once again YouTube doesn't tell me. So if you could leave a comment on this episode, just so I know, we'll go ahead and dedicate a tree to you. You know, you'll get your very own tree in our subscriber forest. So guys, what's today's game plan? Today's game plan is to fly and then we are going to add the interior to our giant barn that we built in the last episode so remember last episode i said we just did the exterior put a little bit of detail in but we have a lot more to do so this is what we currently have quick little refresher for you guys since it's been a few days we got to build that window a little bigger build the interior and of course build the claw that will unload the logs from the trucks and then we have to make a gravel, you know, ramp, not a ramp, but a gravel, like, pathway out along here and out along that side. So, guys, let's buckle down and let's get started. And after a bit of time, guys, we have our, I guess you could call it a driveway. I mean, it's kind of what it is. So, we have the gravel in place all the way around our building. And, of course, we have gravel to our loading docks. And we curve the road around here. So, you know, trucks coming in can go to, like, Delivery Bay 2 or Delivery Bay 1. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, the next thing I want to get started on, guys, is, of course, building the tree design on the outside. Now, I, I like, normally I, like, plan something big like this, but I kind of just want to freehand it, see what happens. <laughs> Famous last words there, but, so, we have... Let's see, how, how wide is this thing? I just built it and I don't remember how wide it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so it's 16. So if we come in 8 each side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll start here and here. We'll make a two wide tree. Yeah. So let's leave that empty for now. Grab me some scaffolding. The good thing about scaffolding is like when you put it on the snow, it gets rid of the snow. <laughs> if you guys didn't know that, it's actually been kind of handy because this snow is getting really annoying. All right, so we got a tree. We'll go one oh, Go one more. I might need more quartz because we're going to have to do four of these around the building. So we have that, that, that. And then a pillar up a bit more. And then what if we go like, say, yep. Oh, falling down all right so we got one branch there and then we can have like another branch coming out say here this is annoying with scaffolding it's like the worst block in the game but it's also the best block in the game it's like one of those like you can't decide so if we have him come up here and then we have him come out here. And then what if we had one coming up, say, like here? Yeah. And then what we can do, I kind of like that. That's a cool design. And then what we can do is... Down here, we can do like, yeah, it kind of looks like a tree. I mean, it's different because it's a two wide tree, but sometimes you got to build two wide trees. Now, I think what might be cool is like if we actually put like actual like leaves on it, because I think the leaves will look good against the red. Now, what I might end up doing is just completely taking off these limbs and then just building like a circle around it. I might also do that too. So let me experiment with that a little bit. So this isn't the final design. Let me experiment a little bit and I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I come up with. Okay guys, so bear with me here, but I actually kind of like this. It's simple, but like you can tell it's a tree. And then I try to put roots coming off the ground here, like into the ground. But I mean, it's a simplistic design, but it, it works. I mean, it, I think it works. All right, guys. So what do you think? 
I mean, it's a simplistic design, but for a two-wide tree, which is like an unusual shape that we're used to seeing in Minecraft, I mean, I think it works. I wanted to keep it like flat against the building so it pops out from the building. I didn't want to bring the leaves up too much, kind of like we originally had. So I wanted to like flatten it out so it's like part of the building, not like a giant tree that sticks out. But I actually really, really like that. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think we're going to do that on the other three sides. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll get those in. And it gives a nice little splash of color too. Like it kind of, I mean, this is a bright build, but it kind of like brings out some color. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get a couple more in and we'll see how that looks. And with that guys, our last tree is in. So they look kind of weird close up. Like, but the thing is like, if you get kind of far away, like you're coming in, they look kind of cool. Like it looks like, you know, it looks like trees on the side of the building. I like them. I mean, they're kind of different, but you know, it's something I'm not used to building. So I'm not used to building like trees on buildings. It's weird, but you know, I really like them. So now guys, I want to go ahead and tackle this window. So this window is going to be odd, but I think it also might work. So what I'm going to do is instead of using spruce logs, I'm going to use spruce trap doors as like a little dividing beam. And then I'm going to use trap doors too on the sides. So I know that sounds kind of weird, but just let me go ahead and do it. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, guys, we should have called today's episode indecisiveness because once again, I changed up the window design and this is actually two days after the last clip you guys have seen. Like, that's how long it took me to decide on a window design that I liked. Uh, it, I don't know why, but I just could not figure out this window for the life of me. But I ended up deciding that simpler is better. I don't want to overcomplicate it. So basically, all we did was take the window back a block. And then I made it more of like a circle. Or at least how much circle you can get in Minecraft. And then... For the inside, just wrapped it in spruce bark and then uh, kept with the black and, of course, just used some trap doors to spawn proof it and then up top just to make it look even. So, like I said, I, I spent two days on that and it just, I ended up saying, hey, simpler is easy. But now, let's get started on today's actual, or today's video's actual project because we're on day three of this actual video. And that is, of course, filling the inside of this thing and making it look alive. So, uh, first off, I want to start with what would be our actual saw mill itself. So, we're going to start with one right here. So, let's go ahead and let's get started with that. Here's what I've gotten in so far, guys. So, we have both of our log cutting machines. So, of course, there's the track that our claw is going to be on to come down and like pick up the logs off the trucks. And then you got your little workstation over here. And I put a couple redstone torches on there just to, you know, add a little bit of flair to it. But you just come over here and you're like, okay, well, saw one, you know, saw two, forward, backward, you know, whatever. You can be whatever you want. So we got those in here. And then I put like these guide bars up, kind of like maybe that's like, you know, how the log goes along the track or something. I don't know. But we have some cut logs here, of course, because we've been busy cut some more logs over here and then over here we have like just a stack of logs on each side and then like here's where the guys will be working maybe they're like carving or you know doing something like that or you know making boards who knows what they're doing but this side over here is the same same exact thing and I haven't figured out what I want to do with this little area here yet and then the same goes with that side but what I want to do is get the track in for the actual you know, like what's going to pick up the logs. So we got the centerpiece in and that's like the biggest one. And then we'll bring a little bit over here and then we'll bring a little bit over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished. And with that guys, we have our claw in what was about six seconds for you. Uh, and you know, really no work was actually a lot of thinking because it's kind of hard to like make up a claw design that kind of looks real in Minecraft because I mean, it's squares and blocks, <laughs> but I kind of figure like that can extend down and then like these can curl under. That's kind of why I use stairs there and that can like pick up the logs of our trucks that'll be driving through here. So 
yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. So then over here, I put in some lockers for our employees, kind of take up some space. And then, of course, over here, you know, I got to put more lockers in. Uh, they're pretty easy to put in, at least the design I'm using. Uh, all you got to do is just basically trap door, trap door, like that. And then you just come along here. And then crouch, trap door, trap door. So you have like this little wooden frame. And then you actually have to go inside. Then you go door, 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 door. I got to extend this one more. But that's the basic design. Uh, I'm going to widen this one more block so that the doors all connect. That's going to bug me if it doesn't. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. And if you guys want to add that into your world, go ahead. I mean, it, it, you know, just helps make something look like more realistic. And, you know, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> so we got lockers. I might put a small table in here, kind of like a you know, break room or like a place for the employees to sit down. I know there is no actual break room in here, but hey, it is what it is. You got a place to hang your coat and, you know, throw your work clothes and everything. But yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, added log supports too. I don't know if I showed those off, but you know, they're there. So all we got to add now is basically that table. I'm going to call the inside of this done and dusted. Now, what I want to do is like, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'll probably just end up putting it like right here. We got to add our, you know, underground to put our tree farm in. So let me go grab a bucket of water because my inventory is swamped right now. And I'll show you guys how to do that. A quick and easy way to build underneath the stuff. All right, guys. So a very quick and simple way to build downwards in survival Minecraft is to... Well, that didn't work out as intended, but whatever. So you just place a bucket of water. And then you just flow down through the bucket and you look up and then like you edge off to the side and you just place blocks as you slide down. So I don't know exactly how far down we have to go, but let's see here. How many did I get? I want to make it like at least 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So we'll just go ahead, place one more and then... That'll be our floor. And then we just come right back up. Whoop. Grab our bucket of water. And it's like it never happened. And that'll all disappear down there. But yeah, I mean, quick and easy way to build downwards. Now we have like a little platform down there. We can just jump down there and start building. So you won't be able to see what we're building, but it's not that big of a deal because it's just an actual Minecraft tree farm. So I figured we did all like, a realistic tree farm so now we can go ahead and do like the minecraft tree farm because we're gonna need wood and you know it's just a matter of time until we're gonna need lots of it so i figure we'll get that in and then next episode and also you know we'll add lighting in here so i don't torch spam everywhere we're probably just gonna do like a hanging lighting kind of thing you know uh i don't know exactly what i want to do but we'll figure out something we always do. I just won't spend another three days on it and have to rush through a factory design. I had the factory design in mind. It was just, I couldn't figure out those darn windows. And now that I did, you really can't even see them from in here. Can't see them from out here, though. I think they look pretty cool. So, all right, guys. With that being said, I know today's episode was kind of short. We didn't get a lot done. But, like I said, sometimes that happens. And, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please remember to comment hit the like button, and as always, subscribe. And if you do, leave a comment. Let me know you subscribe. Get your own tree in the world. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.